but hazable, hazable, he's hazable. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, this is JW Reads, and today is going to be an original tag, original-ish tag. I have been reading a lot of Rick Riordan novels lately, and I've heard a few people talk about how similar all of his series are, and that got me thinking about the tag by Samantha Books, the Mortal Instruments versus the Infernal Devices tag, and I thought it would be really cool if there was one of these for Riordan. So I searched, and while I did find some tags about the Percy books, um, there wasn't really anything that compared the two to one another. So I give you an original-ish tag, um, Percy Jackson the Olympians versus Heroes of Olympus. I will leave the list of questions in the description box below for better ease for you, as well as the link to Samantha Books' video um, for the TID versus TMI tag, if you're interested in checking that out, and I will leave that in the cards as well, and I will also leave in the cards my video of the TMI versus TID, because that's how we roll, and um, I will also leave a few people below that I am choosing to tag, so here we go. Favorite hero, Percy or Jason? Percy, a million times Percy. He's funny, he's quirky, he's great to read on the page. Jason was a good character, but he just hasn't stuck with me the way that Percy has through everything. And I did start to like him more as the books went on, but I have loved Percy from the beginning, and it was really hard to read that first year of Olympus book without Percy in it. So, Percy. Question two, favorite half goat man? Grover or Coach Hedge? Grover, absolutely. Coach Hedge does have some good qualities, but he's not Grover. Um, Grover was perfect comedic relief and a total scaredy goat, but I loved him so much. Like, he just brought something to the books that I don't feel like Coach Hedge really did. Favorite child of Hades, Nico or Hazel? This was tricky because Nico was really hard to love in the Percy Jackson series. Um, until more towards the end, um, it, but he is lovable in the Heroes of Office series because he is in both of them. Hazel was lovable from the beginning. Overall, though, I think I prefer Hazel to Nico um, because she has some great character developments in book four, and I just adore her so much, and especially the, oh no, popcorn, our fatal weakness, like that alone, just like pure love for Hazel. I recently read the first book to the Trials of Apollo and there's like some Will and Nico in there and it is awesome but still I love Hazel. I just do. OTP Percy Beth or Jasper. Uh, Percy Beth obviously. Um, if you don't agree you're wrong except you're allowed to disagree because that's how the world works and obviously I wouldn't ask this question if it wasn't a real question. Um, Percy Beth is, like, gold, and maybe, okay, like, it's technically in Heroes of Olympus, like, don't get me wrong, I guess this should be, like, the tag of where they originate from, uh, Percy Beth in the House of Hades, like, just everything that they went through is so amazing that just Percy Beth all the way. Question five, best villain, Kronos or Gaia? Gia, Gaia, I'm going Gaia, that's what I'm going with, um, Kronos, who was actually scary, um, there was a lot of build-up for Gaia to be scary, and then nothing, um, Kronos, you know, was, like, taking over their friend's bodies, and just doing just crazy, ridiculous things, and so Kronos, for me, was a much better villain. Question six, better first book, Lightning Thief, or Lost Hero, Lightning Thief, all the way. Um, it took me four months to get through The Lost Hero, and if that had been the first book I ever read of Riordan's, I probably would not have continued reading any Riordan books. It was good, but without Percy, it definitely suffered. So definitely 120% Lightning Thief, because Percy is what made that series, and he is wonderful. Best female sidekick, Clarice or Reyna? Clarice does have a great character, but Reyna just had 
so much going on toward the end of Heroes of Olympus that it's hard not to have her as a favorite. Um, Clarice is interesting, and I do like her character, but Reyna for sure is like 120% like my favorite side character probably from that series. And I'm talking out of, you know, who's not part of the main seven of the um, prophecy. Uh, because Ryden has large casts of characters that you need for the books to work. Um, so it's hard to def define what a side character is for Ryden. Um, I feel like side characters are anyone not involved in the main quest. So that main quest had seven people. Reyna was not part of that quest. And I feel like she was a really, really great character. Question eight. Better demigod home. Camp Half-Blood or Camp Jupiter? While I like the idea of campfires at Camp Half-Blood, the best part about Camp Jupiter is that you can continue to live there after you are an adult, and they have shops and stores and things, and I think it would definitely be more interesting to live there versus Camp Half-Blood because you can go shopping and you don't have to leave the safety and comfort of home. Please take me to Camp Jupiter. Question nine, better last book, The Last Olympian or Blood of Olympus? Um, the way all the cogs fell together in the Blood of Olympus was excellent, but I do think The Last Olympian wins this one for me. Um, it was a great book with a lot of action and so many character deaths that I just cried my eyes out half the time. And then the end of it was so funny that you're like, immediately after everyone dies, you're crying from laughter, which is a big turn. And I love Riordan's ability to do that. For me, better last book would be The Last Olympian. And question 10, better final battle. Percy Jackson versus Kronos or the Heroes of Olympus versus Gaia. Again, Percy Jackson all the way. The final battle in Heroes of Olympus was kind of a cop out, I think. Um, along with many of the other battles in that series, they just ended too quickly and too easily for my liking. I think Percy had more um, trials and more things to overcome, and they were harder to overcome than what happened in the Heroes of the Olympus series. Okay, so for me, it was seven questions to Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and three questions to the Blood of Olympus, and it's not to say I didn't love the Blood of Olympus series, because I absolutely did, but per these questions that I asked, those were the answers. Um, if you are interested in doing this tag, please do. If you have questions to add to it, that would also be cool as well. Um, if you add any questions to it, I will um, make a video later on of my answers to all of the questions that you have added, because Maybe you're thinking of something that I haven't thought of yet that would be really cool to compare between the two. Make sure you check down below to see if you have been tagged in this video, as well as to find the answer to the questions and the original TMI versus TID tag by Samantha Book. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my face, make sure you subscribe. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, and they are usually book reading or writing related. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!